and you feel unsupported and unloved. I became this invisible person. I just want to quickly mention that we have now hit 500 subscribers and therefore the competition is live. It's to win this little everlasting journal which is black and white themed, full of journaling cards and bits of paper and secret pockets and you just flip it round and round and round and you keep going. To enter the competition all you have to do is comment on a video be a subscriber and comment on a video. Preferably like it as well, because that's always cute. I'm not sure how I'm gonna be able to contact people for the competition, like the winner, basically, whether you can do that through YouTube or not. So I thought the best thing to do is if you joined my Instagram, where I can definitely message people, and I'm gonna put the title in the subtitles, so it's Journaling with Jamie as an Instagram, then, when I try to contact the person who wins this, which will be drawn on the 20th of October 2021, I will then have a way to contact them easily. I hope that makes sense. I like to collage something onto the base before I do any kind of art journaling or anything else. I've recently found a channel where she calls doing this the underpants. It's kind of cute. I like it. Can't remember her name. I'm so sorry. I did this last night just with some Mod Podge, which is like your standard kind of collage-y medium that helps glue things down, protects them. I Mod Podge underneath and over the top. But now you get a very stiff, almost leather-like page from a very thin one. We're going to start with putting a base of paint down on this but I want it to be random. Therefore what we're going to do, and it might destroy a few pages as well while I do this, is I've got my pouring acrylics here. You can use any kind of acrylic or watercolour for this. Uh, it's just a question of having that more fluid look and I am not even going to look I am just going to pour some acrylics on here so I'm not even looking at the colours that are going to come out I'm just grabbing them and dropping them down what I'm now going to do I have no idea what I'm doing obviously is I'm going to spray these to try and make them more watery and then I'm going to lift this baking paper up. I think, I can't remember what you call this in America. I thought it was kitchen paper, but it might be that you call it wax paper. And then I'm going to try and pour these colours into each other. I've never actually, although I have pouring acrylic, I've never done a pour. I'm going to try and see what happens if I kind of lift stuff up and move it around. Maybe. This is what you call really experimental, isn't it? push the water about like that. Let's just see what on earth we end up with. Ready? Is this going to be something I can live with? Oh, oh, not too bad. And it is on the desk. Okay, my next thought process, <laughs> we do have some brown, never mind, was to basically grab the book and do this. This is what you call Unplanned, modern, abstract, multimedia. I've even put the book on upside down and then lift it up. And let's see. <laughs> My heart's actually beating quite fast, I think. <gasps> oh, okay. Okay. That kind of worked. Right, we're going to leave that to dry. I've actually been away from this for a couple of days because my printer wouldn't print up some photos that I needed for my idea properly, so I had to go somewhere to get them printed, which is annoying. Anyway, the idea is to represent my two times in China and what that meant to me. The first photo is when I was first there and the second photo is 10 years later. I don't really want to cut up original photos of mine or pay a fortune for reprints. 
I've also picked up this second-hand book for £1.50, which I thought might have some nice images in it. I mean, immediately there's a Chinese cabinet. Because it's representing 10 years apart, we will be changing part of the background. This is just the starting point. So there will be more paints, painting, sticking, gluing, all sorts coming in. Back after I've done a lot of cutting out. I'm back with a lot of images, some of which I will not be using. I need this as a template. In the original, I'm sitting by a table. And where's the other photo of me? Aha, uh -huh. okay. 2007, 2017. 2007, 40. 2017, 50 years old. Not that that's necessarily the most relevant thing about this spread but just thought I'd explain that. Now originally I'm sitting at this table in the sun in Shanghai. What I wanted to do was give it a Chinese table. I cut the doors off a cabinet <laughs> so it's not a table but it doesn't matter and then there's another one somewhere I think that is not necessarily going to fit on the page, but that's okay, we can cut it down. I need to be sitting on a chair. See, very organised collage this. And I need to cut the chair off and bring the table right down to the bottom. When I put the chair on, I'm going to bring it right down to there. Let's pop that down. I'm going to get my knife, cut down that bit. Let's just get this person down on the side here. This is me. We have lots of Chinesey elements. Got words. Don't even know which way up that goes. That's bad, isn't it? I could be putting it upside down. What do I know about Chinese writing? It's going to be that way. I don't know that much about Chinese writing, but I do know it's going to be that way. We've got more Chinese writing. We've got a pagoda. We've got a dragon, which does need some more fussy cutting or some black. I might just put some black in that actually, rather than try and fussy cut anymore. Oh, Shanghai skyline. Well, I quite like that there. A moon. A sun. Those doors are for a beautiful hotel. More Chinese words. That can go in the bin. Got a little parasol. Got some Chinese words. Got another more Chinese words. Got some black Chinese words. Got a fan. Oh yes, we've got lots and lots of elements. Not all of which will probably get on here. We have to start making decisions. Well, I already like that dragon there. And that was just thrown down. So that's decided where that's gonna go. Have I got him the right way around? Nope. Well done, you. Obviously some bits are gonna be a bit harder to stick down than others because of the spikiness. Amazingly beautiful Chinese dragon. And that actually is a Chinese style king or emperor. We could have sitting on the table. Right, let's... Uh, put some bits on here. Got a moon. How do we want to do this? I wanted to get the idea that it was Shanghai down and that is the skyline with the Pearl Tower which was my favourite view skyline even though it wasn't local to where I lived. It was on the Bund. Still the one thing that reminds me of Shanghai more than anything else is that Pearl Tower. And then I wanted one of these, him maybe. And we've got a pagoda as well. It's creating a bit of a bottom scene there. Oh yeah, we've got that, haven't we? Those doors, bring that down there. Actually that photo was taken in some back streets very close to those doors. And there is actually a photo taken the same day, because I'm definitely wearing the same outfit, um, by one of those lion dog line things. Put that there. Boulder. I think that was from a park. Oh no, it's from a very nice restaurant. It's outside a very nice restaurant. Got a Chinese sign. I'm just sort of building up the Chineseiness of this. Yeah, so if I put him there, I'm covering up a lot of this red. That's okay. 
so tempting to put another one on there. I do love them. Can you have two? Maybe with a bit of writing in between to break them up. Don't know what that writing means, mind. It could mean anything, couldn't it? Could put the dark writing there. Have I got that the right way up now? Here we go. Here we go. I'm trying to see if there's a letter I recognise. Yeah, I think that's the right way up. So put him that there, maybe. You have to decide where the sun's going to go. I'm assuming the sun maybe goes there. Put the words there. Very white background. Hmm. And we'll have to check which way up with those. I might have to change the colour of that with a bit of watercolour or something. I know when most people do like a art collage they do not put as many elements on as i am big moon we got another pagoda which we could put in front of the moon oh that's quite nice isn't it and i'm just seeing what else we've got we've got more chinese words flowers we could put that there like a halo isn't it <laughs> Might not be able to use the sun. And also, it covers up the dragon's face. So you've got this parasol. That's probably upside down as well. I'll need to check that in a minute. Might not be using that one. Oh yeah, got one of these. Ah, is gonna have a crown. How cool is this crown? I think that's where a crown would go. I don't know. I've never worn one. Okay, I'm putting it there. Baubles. If we want them. I'm not sure we do. We could hang one off there, I suppose. Bring your eye over to that red. Bring her over to... I'm not sure. I've got little ones. I'm just wondering about earrings. At least with the European Vogue on it, I know which way up the lettering's meant to go. Okay, well, we used a lot of those images. Now it just needs to dry off and then we're going to do the next stage. Right guys, it's, it's taken me a whole day to come back to this project. I think because the projects are quite personal to me, this is like, art with purpose, art for self-discovery, self-empowerment, history, storytelling, I don't know what else you could say. I think because of that, it takes me a little longer to think my way around what I'm doing. Whoops. And pouring out too much paint. And this paintbrush has actually had glue on it, so it's quite stiff. I'm hoping that won't matter too much. I've probably done far too much there. But I know what colour I'm going for. There was a colour of sky in Shanghai that's almost white, but sort of grey. And that's the colour I want on this paintbrush, but then I don't want too much of it because I want to dry brush. So although we did that really vibrant background, we're now about to it with some grey. Like I say, I want a certain colour and I want to dry brush and I'm not sure. Right, let's just do it. Whether I'm going to have too much of this or too little or what's going to happen. I may have to wipe some of this off. Now you'll notice I'm only doing this on one side because like I say, this is a personal history, personal story type thing. I don't want too much of this on is just adding to this lead effect just gonna dab that in a bit and then where I feel like you could do with a bit more I will try and get some more on and then maybe dab it off because I don't really know what I'm doing but that seems like quite a good method <laughs> now I'm doing it I am going to go, I can't even remember what that was now. I've put so much on that. I'm going to go back over the, some of these things in a minute when it's dry. It's like sponging it on, isn't it? Then what do we want to do? 
Maybe throw some water on it. I don't know. No idea. Pull some off. Maybe. I don't know. Who's an artist in here? Who knows what to do? Okay. I think I prefer it when some is coming off and it's looking a bit more splattered. Let's just put a bit more spray on. And dab a little bit more off. It's not to make the whole place look really dull, it's to darken it down a little bit. Not that what I'm doing is a step-by-step -step method of how to do art journaling, far from it. It's more like, here's me messing around trying to art journal. What do you think? That's more the method we're going for. Gold. <gasps> Gold. Oh, and he sang Spandau Ballet then. I couldn't stand that record either. I much preferred them when they were still New Romantic and when they went into that whole soul vibe thing. Right, what do we want to do? I think I just want to dry brush the gold on. Or brush the gold on. Probably not even dry brush it, just brush it over. Yeah, let's just get some sparkle on this particularly where it's pale and white. Yeah, I'm just basically throwing gold everywhere. Maybe I want it stronger. I don't know. I'll probably end up damping this down and pulling this up as well while I decide what on earth I'm doing. Do the same thing-ish and take some off. Because that makes it stay random. I have ideas, but I'm keeping with the random idea as well. That the art will decide. Let this dry and come back and hopefully finish this tonight with the next few stages. I think myself and the black watercolour pen have become very, very good friends. I am going to do a little bit of outlining around here and then see how I feel about this. I like this temple against the moon. Right, let's just see what happens if we try and encourage it down the page a bit. Let's just oh, how beautiful is that? I like the way it's just dulled that down a little bit. This side, I, I suppose it should be outlined with the same even though it's 10 years apart. So I lived into, so story time. Story time while I just debate what I'm doing with this side. I lived in China from 2006 to 2008. And then I returned to China for a week in 2016 or 17. Yeah, 2016 and 2016 and 17. So one year it was actually, that actually was around my 50th birthday. I actually had my 50th birthday in Shanghai, in Shintandi. I had cocktails in the morning, Bucks Fizz in Shintandi. Anyway, the, the message behind this picture is the change. I was married to with and I know people bandy this term around a lot but genuinely I've looked and I've looked and I've looked and definitely a narcissist with no empathy and I was a mother of three young children and my life was 
do what he wants to do on a weekend, on his days off from work, because as far as he was concerned, he was the one working and earning money. I did actually teach English out there um, and was head teacher of an English school, but I didn't work for a large international company. Um, it was his work career that took us out there. Therefore, well, even if, even if I'd been earning the majority of the money, he was the sort of person where if I had needs and wants, they would not be taken into consideration. And he was a misogynist and all the other things that you should never marry, basically. And so in the time that we were married and by the time we went to Shanghai, because of his addictions and his personality, I can cope with someone who's got addictions, but not if they've got a terrible personality as well and you feel unsupported and unloved. I became this invisible person who's, wasn't even visible as a mum. I, I can't even describe how invisible I was. For example, if we were out having breakfast as a couple without the children there, if he finished what he was eating, he would just get up, put his coat on, pay the bill and leave the restaurant whether I'd finished or not. And I think that particular incident, it happened more than once, but the one I'm remembering, because we then went on to go and do what he wanted to do for the rest of the Saturday or Sunday or whatever it was. The children had a, as most expat children do out there, had a IE, a nanny. Um, and my life was just like, I don't even know, like, trotting behind him as like a little puppy dog and I do not recognize that person I wasn't that person before the marriage and I'm certainly not that person now and that's what this storyboard is about and I don't know how much more I need to do to this to be honest I might just use the black to highlight me highlight my little crown because although it seems quite vain, the emphasis of this story is I came into my own power um, as a result of him leaving me homeless with three very young children on a plane back to the UK um, at 41. As a result of that event, which admittedly at the time, anyone would go, whoa, didn't you break down? Uh, a little bit. But you have to crack on. And as a result of cracking on over the next 10 years, I became the queen. So that is the story behind this piece of art. And I do prefer art that has a message. And the message I think is, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what's gone before. It doesn't matter how old you are, you can be your own power, you can do it, you can become the queen of your world, your life. Um, and I didn't do it till I was, I mean, I was sent packing when I was 42. I started to become whole again at 45. I'm now 54 and I'm still working on it. We're all works in progress. And that really is that story, the story of this piece of art. And yeah, that plays on history. And the next piece of art we do maybe will be a bit more kind of, you know, in the current. Well, this is current because I'm still in development everyone no one stops growing do they this is still i've still things to conquer in my insecurities and all the rest of it I'm not sure about that bit um i'm just doing that to try and make 
that stand out I might when it's dry put some gel pens and get some glitter on there as well on that crown if you can't read it which is a hard font to read to be honest gray ink for this one I might need a sponge actually I don't want to dull it down too much but equally I don't want it to be Ooh, might have done that a bit too much I don't know I think it fits with the message so that bit says I was invisible and then this bit says and then I wasn't and I think with the and then I wasn't I might want to get the gold paint over that I'm going to just try and get that on there, but then take it off a bit, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense. I need to find the gold, definitely. Bring in the glam. Go with a bit of gold. I feel like Goldfinger now, especially as I've just started to do my hand. Okay, now... Yeah, why not? I mean, you probably can't see much difference there because it is so, so subtle. But there is a small, there's the white, a small difference. And then maybe bring the gold through that. So it's not as white, but it's not. And then I suppose you just need to maybe grab the sponge and Give myself a bit of a golden aura. <laughs> Can't believe I'm giving myself a golden aura. Why not? We all deserve one. Mm, definitely working better with the white highlights. Let me just do a little bit more gold. Up here. Yeah. It's an odd thing, isn't it? Life. I think by putting a bit of gold through some of these other bits and not letting it be all about me, even though it is all about me. Dry time and then final touches. I now have the watercolour paints out because I want to try one other thing. Well, several other things. Having a few thoughts while that was drying. I really get messy doing this. I am avoiding me, by the way. I think it brightens it up a bit. I just was feeling that wasn't too bright. I'm going to make it grey. And I'm going to do basically the same thing, but on the other side. So it's mirroring. Actually, I'm just wondering about... me know if you're already shouting at me saying that's enough. But I have my new gel pens here. Let's just see if that is going to make a difference, show up, be glittery, be grey. What are you going to do? I might have to um, smudge it a little bit because I'm having to put it on quite thick bits where it's a bit too strong but this bit need to tone it down a bit why didn't i think of these earlier I'm not sure that i should have done that hmm. wonder what happens when you do that hey it runs that's what happens awesome don't like something just hit it with some water and leave it at that if you're enjoying this art with meaning series or any of the videos in my playlist on journaling junk journaling planning ephemera making don't forget to subscribe and hit like so that other people can see this video and if you wish to enter the competition, do leave a comment underneath. And I will see you next time.